Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to access the last value in a vector in R. So for the video I'm going to use the example vector that we can create with line 3 of the code. So if you run this code you can see that a new data object is appearing here at the top right of R Studio. We can also have a look at this data by running this code and uh, then you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example data just contains four characters A, B, C and D. So now let's assume that we want to extract only the last value of this vector. So in this case the value D. Then we have uh, two very popular options how we can do that. So the first option is that we are using the length function, as you can see here in line 6 of the code. So if we run this line of code, you can see that the RStudio console returns the value D, so as we want it. The second alternative uh, that is often used in R is uh, based on the tail function. The tail function is extracting the last n values of a vector. And uh, we can specify within the tail function that we want to extract only one last value, so only the very last value of our vector. So let's run this line of code, and then you can see the output is the same. Again, the value D is returned to the RStudio console. Yeah, so that's basically how to extract the last value of a vector in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more about this topic, then you could, could uh, check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial um, which is including the two examples of this video and I am showing uh, these examples in some more detail. And uh, I will put a link to the, to the tutorial in the description of this video so you could check it out there. And uh, if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified uh, in future when I'm releasing new R tutorials. So thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.